have do you guys have you heard N95 masks? N95. So this is just a uh, a simple disposable mask, right? You throw it away. N95. Um, you can see there's a metal thing that you mm -hmm. pinch down over your nose to make it real tight, um, and then the rubber bands on the back Hello, hold it really morning. tight. Good morning, in fact. All right. So some people work in a factory where they are um, they're working with wood and there's sawdust. Um, you know, because you're sanding the wood and smoothing the wood and shaping the wood and then sawdust comes. And so then they have a particle mask to keep the dust from going into your lungs and getting you sick. Um, air fat, we are on page 157. Okay, number uh, number twenty-seven. Safety vest. Safety vest. Yep. Vest. 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 Got yeah, that V sound. V. Vest. Vest. Yep. Twenty-eight. Safety boots. Yep. Safety boots. And twenty-nine. Safety. Yeah. No. Yeah, two words, ear, muffs. Ear, muffs. Uh, Arafat, do you wear um, safety boots when you work? What is that one? Sa okay, so number 28, they're heavy boots, yes. and sometimes they will have steel in the toe, steel-toed boots. So, like, um, these are shoes but um, in the boots there will be metal right here in this area and hit it with a hammer won't hurt your feet because of the metal yeah okay any questions about factory words okay number 17 number 17 oh fire <laughs> What? Okay. X. Ting. Gwish. Sure. X. Ting. Gwish. Sure. Extinguish. Yeah. So if you have a fire, then you take the fire extinguisher and there's a pin you pull. And then when you pull the pin, you can pull the, the trigger and you point the fire extinguisher at the fire and kind of kind of like um sort of like this, I guess. Except you just pull it and then yeah. stuff comes out. Yeah. Yep. Good, okay. Uh, any other questions about... Number 14. Number 14. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Machine. Machine op operator. Operator. Yeah, operator. Machine. Operator. Oper. Op. Operator. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, we're getting there. Number 10. Number 10. Uh, Forklift. 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 Yeah, and you see the picture there? Forklift? It's, um, it's right here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, then let's turn the page in Jamil uh, Hotel. Yeah. yeah. Um, page 158 and 159. 
Okay. How many of you have stayed in a hotel before? How many? So you go there yeah. and they give you a room, yeah. your own room, and you walk in yeah. and then you get the room. And sometimes, well, there's always beds, sometimes a table or a desk, and then sometimes a refrigerator. And then you stay there for a day or two or three. And then you, maybe you go there for like holiday or vacation. Or sometimes if you're traveling, then you stay in a hotel and then you keep going. Yeah? Okay. Okay, yeah. So um, these are all words with um, a hotel. And if we have questions about what the words mean, then let's talk about that. Okay? Okay, so let's do number one. Can you say the word? Housekeeper. Okay. Yeah, very good. A housekeeper. Housekeeper. <coughs> what does a housekeeper do? Arrange the bed. Yeah. Yep. Arranges the bed. Um, takes the um, towels. Yep. Cleans. Yep. Okay. Um, number two. Housekeeping card. Housekeeping card. Okay. So what is a cart? Shopping. Yeah. Shopping yeah. <laughs> Good. You, you just like a shopping cart? Okay, you push it around. But it's a housekeeping cart, so it has cleaning supplies, toilet paper, tissues, um, new clean towels. Yeah. Um, a garbage, so they put garbage in there. Good. Uh, number three. Room service. Room service. Room service. What is room service? Room service. This is service. Yes. Yep. You call them. You say, I'm hungry. Bring me some food. And then they bring it to your door. You don't even have to go to the restaurant. You don't have to go to there. They just bring it to your door. It costs money, but it's, it's convenient. It's easy. You call, they bring. Mm -hmm. uh, number four. Who can guest? Oh, don't cross. Yes. 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 A hotel guest. Yes. Uh, what does a hotel guest mean? Vision. The vision. The vision. Ooh. Yeah. Yes and no. A patient would be someone who's at a hospital, right, and needs, you know, surgery or something. Yeah. But the guest would be each one of us when we go to the mm -hmm. hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So when we go there, then they, um, they will, uh, we are the guest in their hotel. Yep. So if I uh, invite you over to my house, then you are my guest yes. in my house. Yep. Or if you invite me to your house, then I am the guest. Because it's not my house, it's your house, but I get to be there because you invited me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, number, oh, this is tricky. Number five. Sweet. 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 Good, good, good. Sweet. 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 Kind of like chocolate. Yeah. You know, sweet. Yeah. Same, same sound, different word. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. sweet. Uh, number six. Meeting room. Meeting room. Meeting room. Good. Meeting room. Yeah. Number seven. Business center. Business center. Business country. Business center. Business center. Business center. Center. Business center. center. Go slow. Business country. Center. See how it is. Center, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> C followed by E makes yeah. an S sound. Yeah. Center. 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 Mm -hmm. 
What is a business center at a hotel? If you go to the business center, oh, you were going to say something? Oh, the machine. Yes, yes. A, a room that has a computer, it has a printer, you can bring your laptop there, you can work. Mm -hmm. Yep, business center. So sometimes, uh, some people who stay in hotels are families. You know, if my family is driving from Iowa to Michigan, then we drive and then we stay in a hotel and then the next day we drive all day and get to Michigan. So some, some people stay in hotels as a family, but some people who stay in hotels are um, working for their business and they need to go here. Hello, come in. Good morning. Good morning, thank you for coming. Um, we are on page 158. So some people are business people and they're traveling for their business, they're traveling for their company. And so then they travel all day, they meet business people, and then they go to the hotel, and then they travel the next day and they meet other business people, and then they go to a hotel. Um, so people who are traveling for business maybe need to print off some things, you know, to talk to their customer. Um, so that is sometimes what... Sometimes they call it motel. Yeah, sometimes they call it motel, yep. So, um... Motel, hotel. Hotels are nicer. They're fancier. They maybe have a swimming pool. They maybe have a fitness center where you can work out. Um, you know, um, they probably have a restaurant in the hotel. So nicer things. A motel is simpler. It's uh, cheaper. Just sleep. Just sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just sleep. Yep. Yeah. Some hotels you can go there and they have water parks for children. Mm -hmm. So you bring your family and then they have um, like swimming pools and water slides and other like pool kinds of things. Um, simpler, cheaper, just sleep. Fancier. So this would be a little bit of money. This would be more money. <laughs> yeah. Good. Other questions about hotels, motels? What's the difference? What's the difference? Cheaper. More money. Um, more things. Um, so this would have a restaurant. This would maybe have a pool. This would have a business center, meeting, room. meeting rooms, mm -hmm. this would just be just sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, number eight. Ballroom. Ballroom. Yep, two words. Ballroom. 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 What is a ballroom? Games or sing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Big room. You can dance. You can sing. You can have um, uh, like a wedding in a ballroom. You can have parties in a ballroom. Mm -hmm. Very. Say again? Oh, okay. Yep. Just very nice, very fancy. Mm -hmm. You would have a ballroom at a hotel, not at a at a <laughs> motel. <laughs> yeah, you would have it here. Um, number nine. Lobby. 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 You said it very well. Lobby. 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 
Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. We are on page 158. 158. 159. Oh, I'm sorry. 159. Yep. Uh, what is a lobby? Balcony. I think you know. It's hard to say, though. <laughs> See. You drive your car. Here's the entrance, you know, the door to go in. And then here's the, the receptionist. Here's um, a, um, a seat to sit on. Um, foyer? Did I hear foyer? No? Okay. So it's the entrance where you come in, you talk to the receptionist, uh, you get your room reservation, and then you go down the hallway, and maybe here is the ballroom, um, and maybe here is your room that you will stay in, and here's another room, and 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 so the lobby is the first thing that you walk into in um, in a hotel. Um, the library does not really have a lobby when you come in the front door. It does not. Because you walk in the doors and then you're in the library. Mm -hmm. The lobby is kind of like um, uh, the first room that you come into. Um, before you go into the rest of the building. Um, Al Harmain would not have a lobby because you walk in and now you're in the big grocery store. You know, you're in the whole store, so it does not have a lobby. Um, I have not been in Remus. So I don't know if there is a little lobby, like a waiting area. Yeah. So if you go to um, the hospital or to a clinic, this would be called um, like the lobby or, oh, yeah, the lobby probably. The first room that you come in, you get settled, you know, you meet people that you need to, and then you go into the rest of the building, that's the lobby. So yeah, the library does not have one here. Okay. Number 10. Excelator. Okay, go. Escalator. Escalator. Yeah, you went slow and you got it. Escalator. 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 So what? Oh, go ahead. Elevator. Mm. Are you thinking of elevator? Elevator. Okay. Elevator, escalator, same but different. Okay. Um, have any of you been on an escalator? Yeah, that's more uh, 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 automatically. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, so if you want to go from this floor to the second floor, oftentimes you take steps, right? So you step up, step up, step up. An escalator um, is like steps. But you just stand on here, uh -huh. and it, the steps move. Yes. And so then you just you stand, and it brings you up, mm -hmm. and then you're on the next floor. Very easy, yeah. right? Shopping, shopping mm -hmm. mall. Yeah, no climbing, <laughs> anything like that. OK, so that's an escalator. The steps move, so you don't step. Mm -hmm. Steps just move. An elevator. Um, You, you go in the door, the door is open, yeah. you step in, 
Yeah, it should look more like this. You step in, the doors close, you push a button, it's a lift, it lifts you up, and now you are uh, on this floor, ready to go. I have been on an elevator that was 106 stories tall. This is story one, story two, 106. Wow. It went really fast. When you would get in there, you would go up, go up, and it started going faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And my ears popped. Have you had that, like on an airplane, where your ears, like there's pressure, and then all of a sudden, and then the pressure goes away? It's just so fast, 106 floors. That was in a building in Chicago. Yeah, yeah Chicago has tall buildings. Okay, well that's, that's an escalator. Number 11. Desk plus. Desk plus. Clerk. 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 Yeah. Desk clerk. Uh, number 12. Registration. 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 Desk. Registration. Desk. Registration. 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 Yep. Good. Uh, okay. Thirteen is a French word. Um, I'll say it. Concierge. Concierge. <laughs> Concierge. 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 Yep. Concierge. So a concierge, uh, you walk. Oh shoot! I into the lobby. So you open the door. You parked your car right here. You walk in. Here's the. Um, here is the registration desk. The desk clerk is there. And here is a person who is standing there, ready to help you. And so maybe you come in with a suitcase or two suitcases, and the concierge is sitting there, standing there. And he comes up to you and says, may I carry that for you? And so you say, yes, these suitcases are heavy. So you give it to the concierge. The concierge picks up the suitcases, carries them to your room, sets them down. And give them some money. Give them some money. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I usually say, no thank you. I'll carry my own suitcases. But a concierge will carry them for you or help you get something, you know. Maybe you get to your room in the hotel and you say, I'm thirsty. The concierge will say, I'll go get you something. And then goes, gets you water, comes back, and then wants some money, right? So, um, very fancy hotels will have a concierge. Very fancy, very fancy. Um, no motels will have a concierge. Uh, number 14. Revolving door. Yes. Yeah. Revolving door. Revolving door. Have you? Do you see the picture? Fourteen. Have you? Have you done? Have you walked through a revolving door before? Hospitals will have them. Yeah. Some airports will have them. Um, yeah. Keep moving. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Keep moving while you go around. Yep. Keep moving. Uh, number 15. Bell. 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 Bell.
when you go to a fancy hotel and you park your car, the bellhop will come from here. So here's the bellhop, not the concierge. The bellhop will come to your car, get your luggage, and then take it to your room for you. Um, you can see number um, 16. Luggage cart. Luggage cart. Yeah, yeah, luggage cart. So the bellhop will have the luggage cart go to your car, put the luggage on the cart, and bring it to your room. Um, okay. Let's do let's do eighteen. Number eighteen. Single room. Single room. Okay. Now seventeen. Uh, double room. Double room. Double room. Okay, so look at those pictures, 17 and 18. What's different? Single, single room. room. Single one, room. Double one room. Bed. Yeah. One bed. One bed. Single room. Or two beds. Yeah, one bed or two beds. Uh, number 19. Single room. Uh -huh. oh, Fitness room center. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Fitness center. Gym. What do you do in a fitness center? Gym. A gym. gym. Exercise. Yeah. Workout. Mm -hmm. um, number 20? Sauna. 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 Yeah, sauna. What is a sauna? Like... <laughs> Uh, message um, um, some some will have a massage yeah. um, but most I would say most don't have a massage room, hot. Room, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. room is so hot vapor. yeah vapor steamy hot humid you sit in there <sighs> and you sweat and you sweat it's very hot some people like it some people don't. Yep. Um, yep, that is a sauna. Very hot, very humid, very wet water. Um, number 21. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Okay, so um, first question Can any of you swim? You can swim? Yeah. Swim? Swim? No. Swim? Sort of? Sort of. Swim? Yeah. Uh, swim? No. Swim? Yes. Swim? No? Okay. So, um, if you go to a swimming pool, there's, at a hotel, there's no lifeguard. So you swim, you know, and you need to be able to swim or keep your head above water or whatever. So I am a very bad swimmer. I can keep my head above water, <laughs> um, but my daughter is a lifeguard. My daughter works at a swimming pool, and so if I go whoop, she can jump in and she can save me because she's a lifeguard. So, yeah, I'm proud of her. <laughs> Um, okay, 22. Gift shop. Gift shop. Gift shop. Golf shop. Gift shop. Gift shop. Gift shop. Gift shop. Um, and then number 23. Wallet parking. Yeah, you said that exactly right. Valet. Valet. No T. The T is silent. It's a French word. French words drop their T at the end. Valet. So when you drive to the hotel, you give your keys to the valet. The valet parks your car and then holds the keys and puts them in a special room over here. And then when you come back, then they give you your keys. Or when it's time for you to go, you tell them I need my car. They grab your key go get your car, bring it to the door. So hospitals will have valet parking. 
when you pull up to the hospital, you give them a key, your key to your car, they park it somewhere, and then you keep going. And then um, when it's time for you to go, you come back, you ask for your car, they go get your car, bring it to you, and then you drive away. At a hotel or at an event, um, valet parking is very expensive. Um, because you're paying someone to drive your car. Um, they have valet parking at golf courses. Maybe other places too. I, I don't pay people to park my car. <laughs> I don't pay people to carry my luggage. <laughs> I do it myself. But, um, yeah, I'm young. I'm strong. I can do that. When I get old, you know, and don't move as well, then maybe I will pay people to carry my luggage and do things like that. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, we're all, um, we're all probably going to get older sometime, and then we are less able to do those things. Uh, okay, that's hotel. Any questions about hotel before we move on to the next thing. We are okay? Okay. okay. Twenty-four. Oh, thank you. I did not see those. Thank you. <laughs> I did not see those. Okay, twenty-four. Let's let's say this together. Twenty-four. Make reservation. Yeah. Make reservation. Take. Make. Make. A reservation, a reservation. So when, when, when you make a reservation, you are reserving um, a room or a car or a seat. Okay. So at a hotel, you are reserving a room. So the hotel maybe has um, ten rooms. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so when I make a reservation, then they say, this room is Brian's. This is Brian's. It's reserved for him. Nobody else can come. Okay, nobody else can come here. Uh, Jamil, I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'll spell it. Jamil, his room is number two. Okay, Arafat, Ani, uh, Fatima, all these rooms are reserved. So if I get there at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, it doesn't matter because this is my room. Yep, it's a reservation. They, they're holding it for me. Okay. Um, so uh, Saba comes and says, I need a room. And um, let's see, this one is somebody else. It's full, it's full, it's full, it's full, it's full. Saba comes and says, I need a room. They say, no, they are all reserved for other people. There's no room, no room. So it's booked, booked, yeah, it's booked. So. When we talk about um, making a reservation at a hotel, they are reserving a room. If you are getting, if you are making a reservation for a car at a rental car company, then you are reserving a car. So budget rental car, enterprise rental car, okay, you reserve a car. Uh, when we fly on an airplane, we reserve a seat mm -hmm, on that airplane. Yeah. Are there any other places you can think of where you will make a reservation for something? 
bus. I need a bus. bus. Yeah, possibly a bus. You buy a bus ticket and they give you a seat. Yeah. yeah. Airport ticket. Airport ticket. Mm -hmm. Airport ticket. Train. Train. Possibly on a train. You buy a ticket, they give you a seat. Mm -hmm. Private mm -hmm. car? Private car. Oh. Um, probably not for a private car. If you did an Uber, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, you would be making a reservation <coughs> for that car. Yeah, I, I can sort of. It, it's a little bit, it's not, an Uber is not very formal, right? This is formal. This is a room, it's yours, an Uber. Saka. Saka. Okay, tell me more. Stadium. Stadium. Yep. Yeah, soccer stadium. You get a seat number. Yep. That's your, re yep, you are reserved for that. Good. Ah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, let's look at number 25. Check in. Check in. Check in. So I go to the hotel. I have a reservation. I walk up to the front desk. Right? I, um, I park my car. I walk in. Here's the front desk. I say, my name is Brian. They say, oh, you are our guest. We have been expecting you. Here is your room reservation. You have room number six. They say, go that way to go to room number six. Okay. So checking in. So usually you stand here, you give them your credit card, you know, you um, tell them what, what your name is, and then they say, oh yeah, yeah, you are on our paper. Um, you have room number six. So checking in. We check in. What other places do we check in? The airport. Airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we check in at the airport. Other places? Hotel. Hotel. At a hotel. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some restaurants that are fancy will have a reservation and they will have you check in. So I don't know, if I called Remus and I said, I have a big family, we have 10 people, can you reserve a table for us? Will yeah. Remus do that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So then I, I say, my name is Brian, I will be there at 6 p.m. or 10 p.m. and then I come and then they say, oh yes, you called, here's your table, it's reserved for you. Mm -hmm. Yep, now I'll check in to get my table. Uh, number 26. Order room service. Order oh. room service. Order room service. Yeah, everybody did good. Order room, room service. service. Yep. So when you're in your room, the hotels have a bed, a desk, refrigerator, and a phone. You pick up the phone, you push a button, and then it will connect you with the restaurant or the kitchen. And you say, I'm hungry, send me some water. Some more, um, yeah, send me whatever. Water. Yep. And so that's how you order room service, using their phone, usually. Usually it's the phone that's in the room. Uh, number 27. Check out. Check out. Okay. So we know about checking out when we go to the grocery store, when we go to Al Harmain. Right? Mm -hmm. We have our grocery cart full yeah. of groceries. We um, give them, they scan, they put it in a bag, and then we check out. Same thing at a hotel. Um, after I've stayed in my room for the night, then I pack up my luggage, my suitcase, I walk to the front, I say, um, I'm checking out, and then I give them the room key, and then they, um, yeah, then you just go, you just, you just leave. So some hotels, you don't even need to say anything to them because they know that my reservation was for one night. Not two, not three, not four. 
So I stay there my one night, I wake up in the morning, I pack up my suitcase, I give them the keys, and then I go. Check out. Check out, yeah. Good. All right, thanks again for pointing out 24, 5, 6, and 7. Um, okay, well, let's, um, let's review a little bit from yesterday. So if you have the sheet from yesterday, you can take it out, but you don't need it. You don't need it. Um, does anyone want a copy from yesterday? Just a Thank you. I don't you Thank you. And has the sign-in sheet made its way around? Has everyone had a chance to sign it? Okay. Let's, um, let's, on page uh, 16, page 16, I know we did this already, but let's just review. Let's look at the, at the sheet here again. In um, page 16. Yeah. Um, at the top, it's, and do you have the page? You're okay? Okay. Um, at the top, it has present continuous in the black. Would someone be willing to read the words underneath that? It says the present continuous is used. Can someone read that for me? Um, yep, under challenge eight, it says present continuous. And then the present continuous. Can you read that for me? Yeah, yeah, yep. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for reading that for us. So present continuous, remember. This is happening right now. This is happening today. This is happening um, at this moment. So what are some things that you are doing right now? I'm you are studying, yes, thank you. Um, I would say I am studying. Good, so we have ing and we have a helper verb. Good, what else are you doing right now? I'm reading. You're reading, yep. ing, helper, you are reading. What else? We are in the library. We are in the library. We are in? No, 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 just, just we are doing. We are uh, studying. We are studying, yep, studying. studying. Yeah. They are playing. They are playing. They are playing. That's a good one, yeah. Okay, so these are good examples. Remember, this is right now, right in time. It's today, Oops, sorry, today, and at this moment. Good, okay. Um, can someone read the next part? It starts with simple present. Yeah, I'll three, thank you. <coughs> yes, yeah, simple present is used with hellos often, usually, never, sometimes, every day, 
month, season, he uh, he oh. always one very winter. Yeah, thank you, Petri. Yo. So this is always always often usually never thank you more okay so this is not happening right now this is usually this is sometimes so what are some things that you do sometimes or usually um, but you are not doing right now what is something that you do but you are not doing right now simple question Yep, this is simple present. Um, but what what is something that you do? I always wake up Okay. Wake up. Six o'clock in the morning, AM. Yep. What is some you're not you are not waking up right now. <laughs> you usually wake up at six AM. Good. What else is something that some of you do? I always watch uh, the gym. You always watch the gym. You watch the gym? Um, did I hear you right? Game. Uh, watch the game. Yes. Game. Yes. All right. Watch the game. You always do that. You are not watching the game right now, but you always do. Good. Can I get one more example? Watch the TV. Watch the TV. Yeah, yep. Good, yep. So those are things, right, that you do but you're not doing right now. Um, usually, I will ride my bike to the library. Usually, we will walk to the library. Or usually, I cook supper or, or something, right? All those things we do, we're just <coughs> not doing right now. Good. Oh, I'm glad. You guys are remembering things. Things well. Okay, so today we have a new worksheet. Okay, so today we are going to learn some things can be counted, some things can be counted, and some things can't be counted. Okay, so let's, let's read um, the nouns that can be counted, and could I have you read um, the count nouns part right here? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, nouns are nouns that can be connected. They have a singular and a plural form. A student, two restaurant, one orange, six orange, oranges, and pancake, three pancakes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So these are things that can be counted. One, two, three, four. Okay. But some things are not counted, okay? And so this is a longer one. Would you be willing to read that for us? Non-count nouns? Non-count nouns cannot be counted. They only have a singular form. They are nouns from one of the following groups. Nouns with no indi individual singular parts. Milk, soup, meat, butter, jelly. Nouns with parts that are too small to count. Rice, sugar, corn, flour. 
nouns that mean a group of things food many cloth food many sorry money. food money, money clothing nouns that are idea nutrition health time work education okay so when um, when I think about milk for example right that's on our no list counted. yeah nouns with no individual or single parts yeah. you can't count milk unless if you put it in like a bottle you know or um, a gallon right it needs to be in a container before you can start to count it okay and then you can say oh I have one bottle of milk two bottles of milk three bottles of milk okay but you don't count um, you know you, you, you can't if, if I spill this on the floor you can't count it mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if I spill this box of pens and pencils on the floor, I can count yeah. one pencil, two pencil, one pen, two pens. Okay. So, some things are count, countable. You can count them. Some things you cannot count. Okay. So, uh, this is a challenge. Yesterday we had a good challenge. This is a this is a good challenge too. Um, why don't you work on uh, part A? Label each word as count or non-count. And remember you have a list up here to look back on. Okay? So let's take maybe five minutes and then we will do it together. Okay. Okay? And you can work with a friend or a partner, however you want to do that. I know so little. 
to the bar, uh, to the bar, uh, I think, more possible. Okay, so you have time, paper, your paper, to the bar. bar. Oh, bar. Bar. Okay. Bar. Je bar. Oh, bar. Yeah, yeah. Bar. 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 Yeah. bar. bar. To bar. To bar. I think more en français. You speak French with me. You you can you can speak to me. Okay. French. Okay. French. Um, you know English better than I know French. Je ne sais pas. Je ne peux pas. Je peux pas. Pouvoir. You know this will be fun. Do you know French very well? Um, are you fluent in French? No, so my native language is Arabic. Okay. My son language is French. Okay. Wow. I'm jealous. I wish I knew French. <laughs> I wish I knew Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anyway, English is easy. English? Difficult. That's how I think, too. I think English is easy. <laughs> but I grew up here. <laughs> Well, how nice to know that you know French. How nice to know that you know French as your second language. It's a what language? It's a dying language. But it's spoken in many parts of Africa. But for business? For business, do you need to know French in those countries? Actually, yeah, business is the uh, no. part. French uh, is, uh, is no good. Mm. If you travel any country, you must speak English. Yeah. 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 In French, in French. You can, you can speak English, right? But if you are outside of French or three or four country, <laughs> Asia, or Spanish, yeah, yeah. Spanish is there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a wide language also. Oh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's come back together and let's um, take a look at our list mm -hmm. and see if they are count or non-count. Um, so the first one, um, how about if we, um, if we start here, Jamil, could you read the example and do number one for us, please? What does non-count? Mm -hmm. Number one, vegetable, non-count. Um, I was thinking about that, and I think vegetables are a count. Yeah, they are a count. If, yep, because if you if you if you have a box of vegetables and you spill it on the floor, you can count them. Yep. So let's yeah, that is a count. But the the vegetables that that was a tricky one because. Yeah, it's just, uh, it isn't specific. If it was tomatoes, or if it was broccoli, or cucumbers, then we would know. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you, D. Mm. Um, okay, next one. Spaghetti. I would say that is non-count. Mm -hmm. um, again, you can buy a box. Well, because the, the noodles are small and there's so many of them, if you spilled it on the floor, you could count them, but it would take you forever. Right? So I'm I think I think you're right. I think that is a non-count. Okay. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. American accent. American accent. American accent. Spaghetti. That I'm that I'm saying. Uh, I'm not sure what because you said American accent. Is it that I'm saying it with an American accent? Yeah, uh, spaghetti or spaghetti. spaghetti. Okay, say the two again. Spaghetti. Uh -huh. Or spaghetti or spaghetti. Oh, okay. Accent, yep. accent American. Yep, spaghetti or spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti. 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 Um, I would say it real fast. Spaghetti. 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 Yeah. Good. Okay, factory number three. Uh, onion. Count. Yeah, I would count. Mm -hmm. Onion counts. What, I, what I've noticed in Hamtramck is people buy onions by the big bang. <laughs> <laughs> Very big bang. And there's many in there, but you can't, there are big enough to count. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next one, air fat? Jaza. Jars. 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 Yeah. Jars. Count or not count? Count. Yeah, I would count jars. Yeah. 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 And so it is a non-count. Non-count. Non jars. Jars? Um, uh, this is a bottle. Oh, jars. Sort of a jar. And then go. How many jars? This is jars. This. Um, yeah, this would be, I would call this a jug, because it's big. It's a jug. This is, yeah, this is a jar. This is a jar. Most jars seal and don't have a, um, a dispenser on the top. So, just a... Uh, yeah, a twist. Yep, a twist top. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, that's... Okay. Uh, so beef, um, we, we've decided this is a non... Count. Non count. Okay. Uh, the next one, could I have you, could I have you do number um, six? Donut. Yeah, count. Mm -hmm. What's the donut? Donut. Oh, donut. I love donuts. Oh. They are like a sweet bread with frosting on the top. Sometimes there's candy sprinkles on it. Sometimes there's a cream inside. Mm, very nice. <laughs> I like, do you like donuts? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. Yep. They're not healthy. <laughs> They're not healthy. <laughs> Would you like to do um, number seven? Sugar, is it count or non count? Not count. Not count. Yeah. If you spilled sugar on the floor, the, the individual things you could count, but oh, it would take you forever. Yeah, long time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, number eight? Cookies count. Count. Yep. Yeah. 
That reminds me, have you heard of the term dozen? Dozen? Do we know what dozen means? Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Egg. Mm -hmm. Yep. Twelve eggs in one dozen. Yep. Twelve cookies would be a dozen. Yep. Okay. Sometimes in Iowa, we will buy sweet corn um, on the cob. Sweet corn. Oh, very good. By the dozen. What does that mean? Twelve. Twelve. Yep. So it looks like um, like this. Corn. Yep. Right? Like that? Yes. Okay. So by and by the dozen, you get 12. Have you heard of something called? Baker. Baker's dozen. Yes. Baker's dozen. Bake. Yeah. It's, yeah, when you think bake, you think yeah. cook. But in, if you ever hear baker's dozen, it actually means 13. Oh. So, for example, if I grew sweet corn in my backyard, and you know it has the husk on it, you know, the green, um, the, the leaves mm -hmm. are still on it, so you don't know, you can't see the, the yellow corn inside, it has the green leaves on it. Yeah. So I don't know if it is good or not, because it's still covered, it's in the leaves, mm -hmm. it's in the husk. Yeah. And so if I sold you sweet corn, I would sell you 13, but I would only charge you for 12. I would give you one extra. Because I don't know if all of those are good. Because maybe bugs got in it or something. So I would, I would say, you know, $5 a dozen for 12, but I would give you a baker's dozen, I would 13. give you 13, because I don't know if they're all good. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, good. Um, moving right along, number nine. What non-count. Yeah, non-count. Number 10. Apple count. Count, yeah. Uh, we're going kind of quickly, sorry. Uh, apple is count. Drinks. None count? None count. Potatoes count. Potatoes we count. count. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do um, B, example B. Let's work on this together. Um, for maybe five minutes, and then we will review together, all together, okay? Actually, you know what, let's just do this. Let's just go with this one, okay? So, uh, would you read number one? Right. And then tell us which one is the right answer. Uh, you, you know what? Start with the example and then do number one. Thank you. Where did the meat uh, from? Flour, not flour. Yeah, bread is made from flour. flour. Yeah. Okay. Flour. Number one. I need to. I need to buy three pizza. The first one. Pizza, not pizza. Pizza. Okay, they gave you a counted number. Okay. They gave you three. Yo. And so then it becomes a plural. Yeah. Pizzas. Pizzas, yeah. Good. We're learning together. Number one. Pizzas with an S. Good. Okay, number two. Uh, would you read that? Yeah. You want water. 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 No, no water. Right, no water. S. Just water. Just water. Yeah, just water. Um, number three, factory. Number three. Yeah. Uh, the doctor is making soup. Soups. Soup. 
Yes, just soup. You know, he's making soup. Mm -hmm. You are making uh, sandwich and sandwiches uh, for 20 people. Uh, sandwich? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Oh, sandwiches. Sandwiches. Yeah, sandwiches. Yep. sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, and the key, I mean, what we what we see here is that, oh, there's a number. There's yeah. 20, yeah. right? And so, okay, now we know that we can count that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Ani, number five. Silva always eat tomato with hail dana. Okay, um, this, is, this is a tricky one. Tomatoes. She eats, yep, tomatoes. it's a it's a tomato, and you can count how many. She eats tomatoes. Eats yes. tomatoes. Um, I wouldn't say, um, hmm. If I said, um, I always eat a tomato, I would need the A there to indicate that I eat one. But because it says eats without an A, then we know that there's many, and so it's uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. That's a, that was a tricky one. Uh, okay, number six, please. Yeah. We are tired of this fools. Food. 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 No S. Food. Okay. So this is not being counted. Mm -hmm. It's just a statement about food. Mm -hmm. Remember if we add an S, then there's a number with that. Okay. And when we add an S, that means there's more than one, okay? okay? And so pizzas, sandwiches, this is just food. It's, it's not counted. Yeah. We aren't counting chicken, you know, or chickens or water bottles or something. Yep, yep. Um, okay. Number seven, please. I don't have to the potatoes, the potatoes, please. Potatoes. Potatoes, yes, two. Yep, there's two potatoes. Good. Potatoes. Okay, number eight. Where are the cake mix? Mix. Okay. One. Cake mix. Okay, this is tricky yeah. because they've taken cake mix, which is small pieces, flour, and the mix is in a box. Yeah. It's in a container. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so then they aren't, la they aren't counting the mix in the box, they're counting the boxes, the cake mix boxes. That one was not very, <laughs> that one was not a very nice one. But where are the cake mixes? So you'd have a box of cake mix, another box of cake mix, another box of cake mix. So they added the container. Kind of like, um, I think you read the one about number two. Look at number two. Do you want water? Yeah, do you want water with your meal? Um, if they came up and said, do you want water bottles? or do you want bottles of water with your meal, then they're talking about the container, right? Water bottles. But if they say, do you want water with your meal, then that's a general, we don't know how much, we don't know if it's a bottle, we don't know if it's a jug, right? So if they change number two, then it would become, you know, water bottles or something like that. Um, this, they're talking about the container, the number of mixes, right? So when you go um, to Al-Haramain, there's 
cake mixes, cake mixes, cake You can count boxes of cake mix. Yep. That, one, that was a tricky one. I'm, I'm not... Okay. Yeah. Okay, number nine. We're back up here to the front. Cake, cake mix. Yeah. Where are the cake mixes? Mixes? Yeah. Mixes, yeah. Yep, that's number eight. Okay, number nine, please. Good nutrition is important. Yeah, very good. Yep, nutrition. Nutrition. And then uh, number 10? There are six food groups in the nutrition pyramid. Yeah, groups. So kind of like there's six groups. Groups. Yep, we've got groups, groups. of mixes that are in different containers, in different boxes. Yep. Good, okay. Um, let's turn the page over. Um, I will read the directions and then you follow along and then we'll do um, section A, okay? So this is um, a lot of, many, much, a few, and a little, okay? So I'm just going to read across. He says, he eats many, or a lot of, cookies. A lot of cookies. He eats a lot of cookies, yeah? Um, that's on the count side, um, but look, look at that. There's many cookies, like a dozen cookies, right? We can count a lot of those. And then on the non-count side, he eats a lot of rice. But rice is not a count number, okay? So we're, we're going to find our way through this. So the next one, he doesn't eat many a lot of cookies, he doesn't eat much, or a lot of rice. Does he eat many, a lot of cookies? Does he eat much, a lot of rice? Or how many cookies does he eat? How much rice does he eat? So in the columns, we see that there is a count side and a non-count side. And so when we are working with count or non-count, we just have to use slightly different words um, to say this in proper English, okay? So he has a few cookies and he has a little rice. And then finally, a lot of, many, and much are used to show a large quantity. Large quantity. Much is rarely used in affirmative statements with non-count nouns. Instead, use a lot of. So I think what we're learning is a lot of is something that can be used more often, more frequently. Um, and then a few and a little are used to show a small quantity. Okay? Um, so section A, it says complete the sentences with a lot of, many, or much. So use those three, a lot of, many, or much. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. Isn't that nice of them to do that for us? Um, that's a little bit of a joke. It isn't very nice of them to do that for us. Okay, so how about if you work um, with someone next to you or on your own and do um, part A? And then uh, we'll see um, how we do on that, okay? And is it okay if I erase the board? Yeah, we're okay? Yep. Okay. I'll do that while you're working on um, part A.
کلمه کلیر Well, should we give this a shot? One thing that makes me nervous is they say um, sometimes more than one answer is possible. <laughs> so we will, we will see what we come up with for answers. Okay? Um, so um, could I have you read the example and then number one? I don't eat much a lot of sugar. Okay, I'm going to pause you for a second. So when they have the a lot of in parentheses, that means that you could both answers are correct. It could be much and it could be a lot, a lot of. of sugar. Yeah, you could say, I don't eat a lot of sugar. You could also say, I don't eat much sugar. Both are okay. Both are good in English. Okay, okay sorry to interrupt. Number one, please. Yeah, this w this one would probably be um, a lot of a lot of would be yeah, a little bit more precise. Yeah, you would use um, much when um, when it's a negative statement, like the first one, uh, like the example that you read. Mm -hmm. I don't eat much sugar, um, or if it's a question. Um, but I think for this one to be a little bit more precise, we would say a lot of, yeah, a lot of, yeah. 
Okay, uh, number two. Yep, go ahead. Thank you. Do you eat a lot of potato chips? Yeah. Yep. I think that would be a good one. Yep. Do you eat a lot, yeah. lot of potato chips? I think this is one of those that you could use too. Um, you can Much. say, do you eat Much. many? Do you eat many? Because potato chips are something that you can count. And so you would say either many or lot of. a lot of. Yeah. Do you eat many potato oh. chips? You would not say much because potato chips um, are a count item. Not count. Yeah. Like when you eat potato chips on the bag, it will say serving size. And then it will say about 20 chips, yeah. about 40 chips, right? And we can count potato chips. It's really hard to count rice. One rice, two rice, three <laughs> rice. <laughs> Lots of rice. Yeah, yep. Yeah. OK. Um, so uh, Ani, could you do uh, number three? Uh, if you need to take that. So how many eggs do you eat in? How? How a lot of eggs do you eat a week? How many? How many? How many, um, how yeah. many eggs? Yeah, I think do that. Eat? How many? Yeah, thank you, Ani. I think the answer that that yeah. sounds the best for English is many. Yeah. How many eggs do you eat? Um, uh, how much milk? Do you drink? Very How good, hair fat. How uh, much? How much? How much milk do you drink? Uh, because milk you can't count unless if it's in a container. Um, number five, three. <coughs> we don't buy a lot, a lot of cakes. And then you can have two, and either one would be fine. Either one will sound good in English. We don't buy a lot of cakes. You can also say we don't buy many. Many. Mm -hmm. yeah. Many. All right, number six, please. Do they drink a few more? What did you say? You, they drink. Do you? Do, do you do the do they drink some water? Much. 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 Wow. Yeah. Much. Yeah. It's a question. We can't count it. And so we would say we would say much. They drink much water. Yeah. If uh, if this is like a little hard or a little confusing. Or inside, you're like, I don't get it. <coughs> it's OK. It's OK. We will get there. A little practice, and we'll get there. It's no problem at all. Um, number seven, please. OK. Yeah, I would say that, too. A lot of. A lot of ground beef. We don't know how much. Um, Ground beef is, an, is a non-count mm -hmm. item, so it's a lot of. Number eight. Does the does Ian eat? Many. 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 Mm -hmm. Many. This is also one that you can say a lot of.
many, a lot of, neither one is fine. Yep. Uh, and so that brings us to number nine, please. Uh, it allows of banking. I think that's our right answer. A lot of. I eat a lot of pancakes. And number 10, please. We don't need a lot of food. Okay. This one can go either way. Either way. A lot of, I think, is the best one. We can also say much. And we can say much because it is a non-count. It's a non-count item. Good. Questions about uh, this worksheet that we have done so far? Okay, slowly by slowly, we're getting there. Good. Yeah. Was this an easier worksheet today than yesterday? Yeah. 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 Yesterday was harder. Yeah, yesterday was, I felt, really hard. This one, there's rules to follow, but we can figure out those rules. Yesterday, Present continuous and present, that was a little bit, um, yeah, just take more practice. Yep. Good. Well, it's Thursday today, and on Monday, Mike will be back, so I'm looking forward to that, and I'm sure you are too. Um, but I hope that you all have a great day and a great weekend, and see you on Monday. Okay. Uh, if you could take your books and set them up on the counter or up on the table here, that would be helpful for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.